everyone. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills, and uh, it is the later part of September, and hopefully you have uh, quite a bit of your canning done. I know that my pantry is pretty full right now. Uh, there's still a few things I can can up, but uh, it, it is pretty full. I'm thinking of doing quite a number of things with apples, but uh, th there's a little bit of time for that yet. And today I'm going to can up some butternut squash. Now, if you've never made a pie with butternut squash, you should. <laughs> you, it is awesome. It's a little sweeter than pumpkin. Uh, very, very tasty, and I love it for that. And you can also make a nice soup with your butternut squash. So I have a few here today and I'm going to can them up. Okay, let's get started. Okay, here I am uh, in my kitchen sink and I'm going to scrub these down real good. Now, if I had my root cellar, I wouldn't even bother to can these up. I have had these in storage <clears throat> in my root cellar and I believe for at least eight months, maybe longer, and they uh, stored perfectly. You wouldn't have known that they were, were not fresh that day when I actually went to use them. Okay, all washed. Now the next step is to peel these. Beautiful color inside. And these do peel quite easily actually. Just using a potato peeler. I'm going to find my other potato peeler. that job's done. So <laughs> now I'm just going to tidy up here a little bit, get rid of my seeds uh, for the time being. We will be washing them and separating them from the pulp, but uh, before that I want to uh, cube all of this uh, butternut squash so we can put it into pint-sized jars. Okay, <clears throat> before I start to chop these up, I put um, my uh, pressure canner on the stove with about three quarts of water on the bottom. I've also put another pot of water on the stove to fill jars up with uh, water and the uh, turt and the butternut squash. So now I'm just going to cut these into chunks. I'm going to cube them and put them in the bowl for now. Okay. 
Now, as I said, if you had the, the facilities to cold store these, I wouldn't even be bothering to do this because they store very well in cold storage. Now, the other thing is some recipes call for blanching these um, for, before you put them in jars, but not to blanch them for any longer than two minutes if you're going to blanch. Personally, I don't plan to blanch at all because they do have to pressure can for quite a while. Oh. Blanching does remove some of the air from um, vegetables of this nature so you don't, they don't float. That, that is one of the benefits of blanching. But I find that this will be fine just as is. Okay, well, I'll get back to you when I finish chopping this all. Okay, I'm going to start off with nine pint jars. I have a sneak and hunch. It's going to take a lot more than that. But we'll work on filling up nine to begin with. Now, this is raw pack. And uh, the only thing I'm going to add is a little bit of sea salt and some boiling water. And I do want to pack these up fairly tight. So when I add the hot water, I will um, give it a few minutes to settle. And hopefully we'll add a, a little bit more of the uh, butternut squash. Okay. I can hear that my water here has boiled. Okay, so I'm going to turn that water off, and I've got boiling water to add to this first jar right now. Okay, we'll keep going here. The first nine have been, uh, uh, the air has been removed from them. I have my lids ready. I have my vinegar ready to clean them. And let's see if I can. And before we go any further, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt to each one of these. Not necessary, but you can either add it or leave it. This time I'm choosing to add it. Okay. Salt's been added. I'm going to clean the rims. The 
there isn't much stickiness on these rims, but you still want to clean them. Okay, and lids. Now these are ready to go on the canner as is, just like that. See? Okay. pressure canning. My timer is telling me that I have vented for full 10 minutes, so I can turn that timer on, and I'm going to um, <clears throat> pressure can this for 55 minutes at 10 pounds pressure, and if it was quart jars, it would be 90 minutes at 10 pounds pressure, and that is for the um, altitude of 1,000 feet. If your altitude is different than that, you would have to adjust for that. So as soon as this comes up to 10 pounds pressure, then we'll set the timer for 55 minutes. Meanwhile, I have <laughs> cleaned the seeds and I'm going to dry these as well. So washed as, as well as I could, you know, as soon as I dry the rest of the, uh, um, the rest of that will clean itself off. So. Lots of seeds. All I need now is the farm. <laughs> okay. Okay, there I have it. I have 13 pint jars of perfectly canned butternut squash. And they look gorgeous. So all that's left to do at this point is to wash the lids or wash the uh, tops and date and label them. So there we have it. 13 beautiful jars of preserved butternut squash. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.